pop down there. You don't see it? Right there. You see that red pot? Yes, that one. Let's stop it. All right, thank you. All right, so I'm about to make them tater tots. Because we still don't have any food. We have to we have to make everything that we have last until the next payday, which is a long time from now. He gets paid every two weeks. Which is so annoying because I'm used to pay every week. So I'm spoiled that way. But we'll be okay. You know what I mean? We'll be okay. I had a horrible dream last night. Horrible dream. It's the second night in a row. I will tell you guys what that dream was about. Because I'm sick of waking up feeling like my life is in danger. I'm sick of it. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Sick of it. When the little ears are not here, I will explain it. I have a horrible headache. Horrible. I wasn't going to vlog today. But I was like, you know what? I have to be consistent, you know? I have to be consistent. I can't just, you know, try to build a channel and do as I please. Because it won't work. You know what I mean? Luckily, we have oil. <laughs> I'm telling you, the struggle around here is getting oh so 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 real. I'm gonna go get these kids. It's 6:52. 6:52. I couldn't get out of bed this morning. No matter how hard I tried, I couldn't get out. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have a panic attack. But I was like, you know what? I have to get up because I have five children downstairs waiting on me to come make breakfast. It's not like we have um, breakfast food where they can, you know, we don't have any cereal. We do have milk. We do have milk, but we have no cereal. Okay, so the hash browns are going. I'm going to do it with some eggs for them. And then I'm doing mac and cheese for their lunch. Um, should be cooked by now. Almost. Almost. Oh, this is sticking. Why does mac and cheese want to stick all the time? Need to cook some more. Ew. So, um, anyways, a uh, bit of an update. Hubby is getting a part-time job. Uh, so he's going to be working another part-time job. He fill out the application for it and... <coughs> <laughs> he got a call for an interview, so that's what he's going to be doing. I told him he didn't have to, but of course, being a man, he feels like um, he has to provide, and it, if something is going wrong, he automatically takes the blame for it. It's never like, hey, you got to get a job, or you, know, you got to help out, even though I feel the need that I have, but he doesn't want Maddie he doesn't want Maddie in any kind of daycare or he doesn't want that. So he's like, um, I'll do it. He's always felt the need to provide. Like, if anything is going wrong, he automatically takes the blame, which I hate. I hate that he takes responsibility for everything. And his belief is like, you know, I'm the man. And I have to provide for my family, not halfway, not 75%, not, you know, 80%, not 90%. He feels like he should provide 100% of all of our needs. Um, and I'm like, whatever. But that's just my husband. That's just the way he thinks. He's like, I'm the man. I got you pregnant. Um, we decided to have all these babies, and I'm going to take care of them. So that's just that's just the way he thinks. I know a lot of people are like, well, why don't you go get a job? Uh, that's not what my husband wants. What you want versus what my husband wants is two different things. And at the end of the day, I have to respect his wishes. Um, so once Maddie is out, um, out in in school. I do have a degree. For those of you that don't think I do, I do have a degree. So I will. Um, I will be going back to school. Um, but I don't know what it is I want to do. So that's just that.
Okay, so I only have three eggs. It's seven oh five. I gotta be here. I gotta be out of this house by seven twenty. And I still don't have mac and cheese ready yet. Huh? You need help with the cooking? No, I'm good, sweetie. Thank you. Um now I just need to stir this. And then Maddie needs to get dressed. Oh my gosh. But I did put some egg white in here. Thank God I had egg white. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness I had egg white. So I'm going to finish this up. Get them their breakfast so they can finish getting dressed. And get their um, lunch finished up by the time 7.20. Get here. Okay, so all their breakfast is already. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Maddie. Get your breakfast ready, baby. Just get dressed, okay? It's on the table. Where's your brother? Okay. Grab one. I have to I just have to finish up um their lunch. It's 709. I think we can do it. I left Maddie a little bit of, um, what is this, ash brown for lunch. And then there's also a little bit of mac and cheese right here. And the kids' lunches are already, it's 7.15. I have four minutes to do lunch video and get out of here. Where are you guys with, um, hurry up, hurry Gio. Cause we got to sign, I got to sign and stuff. I got to sign y'all homework. It's 719 guys. I did it. Oh my gosh. We did it. No, you gotta sign our stuff. Oh yeah, I got sign homework. I can always do that in the in the car. You ready, Maddie? Maddie just finished breakfast. You ready? Alright, we gotta clean your hands. Oh, she still has food in her hands. Because my husband does not like when children bring food in the vehicle. So yeah, Juju, you gotta go upstairs, buddy. I keep Juju upstairs because I don't trust him. He will rip up my house. Juju, he will knock over the trash and get in the trash. I don't trust him and I don't want to be the dog. Come on, Mama. All right, Jill, let's go, baby. Um, Get a pen. Do we have a pen for the car? Yes, I think so. All right, so. um. I'm going to go drop my kiddos to school. And I will see you guys in a little bit. Bye, guys. Uh, so we're here. It's 7.38. We're supposed to be here at 7.45. 7.45, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I have to drop this truck off. I have to drop my truck off to get a, um, to get them to look at something. Because my husband says it's leaking oil. And it's a brand new truck, so it shouldn't be leaking oil. So I have to take this to Ford. I don't even know what time, but my husband is supposed to text me and let me know what time I have to take this truck in. Oh, I really don't want to because it's like a waste of my day. But it's not really a waste of my day. I just don't want to be, uh, no, you know, having to. Ah. <clears throat> ah. I just don't want to be having to. Ah. Be doing things outside of my day, you know, if that makes any sense. I hope it makes sense. So, I have to do that today. I forgot signatures. Okay. Huh. I'll do a signature. Hey, hey, hey! Who's fighting in the car? Not nice. Next one. Math, did you do math, Jordan? No, I forgot my math book. I did my math. You d forgot your math book? Who's you forgot your math book? How does that work? How does that work, um, Jordan? I did mine. Kill with the taxes. This is Jackson? Yeah, kill with the taxes. Jackson, you park over there because we're like teachers. Oh, I got the Oh, he did his math. Did he do his math? I forgot it. Jackson, where's your math? Yeah. yeah. Where's your math homework? Why is it not in your folder? 
Pass that math homework up here, please. You guys keep playing. Um, keep thinking I'm playing with y'all. Draw then. You need to bring the math home. The the math the the math um thing home. I did. We're supposed to do this. Two point eight. Can you please have his teacher give you his homework, please? Mm -hmm. And don't give it to him because I don't want to punch anybody. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. You're going to have to do it in class, too. Do you want me to take you out? Yeah? <laughs> you ready to come out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you so excited? Come on. Yeah. Give me your hand. I'm out the truck. Ready? One, two, three. Oh. All right, go in. Oh, it's eight o'clock. You hear the alarm? It's eight o'clock. I have to go take my truck to go get serviced. Well, to go look, get looked at. And I have to find a little snack for Maddie. I think I have a little package of snack in here just in case she gets restless. Okay. Um so that's what I'm getting ready to go to. I need to find the address. My husband sent it to me, but um oh, my husband sent it to me. But um I need to look it up. Madison done destroyed like um six charger for me since I got my phone. She keep putting these in her mouth and ruining it and ruin um the chargers. So I'm down to one little charger and I have to keep um I have to use this for the car and also for the house. So it's so annoying. So annoying. So now I'm trying to figure out the address when I want it on my phone for navigation. But with my navigation, you have to put it in before you leave, or else it won't let you. It won't let you plug it in because it feels like you're being distracted. So, shepherd. So I have to put it in before I leave. Um. So. Obey traffic laws, be alert, and use voice commands while driving. How many minutes? Nine Please minutes. Proceed to the highlighted route and then the route guidance. So, I'm going to go take my truck in and I will see you guys in a little bit. I got to put my music on first. Do you guys let your kids play with toys that are in waiting area? I just feel like they're so, I don't know. But hey, it's not gonna kill her, right? Right? No. Ooh. How fun. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what happened? What happened? Put it back. Put the cars back. Put the cars back. Hoping to get them back before um, three o'clock because I gotta pick up the kids at three. So hopefully they're done. If not, I gotta go. If not, I don't know what I'm gonna do. But they have to be done by three. I'm so angry right now. It's not even funny. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
Whew. This boy walked out of the car, walked out of the truck, closed the truck, and left his two siblings in the back of the truck. And I'm walking in the house thinking all the kids are going are, are inside the house. But no, this boy then closed the door and walked off because all because he left his lunch bag at school. And I said, well, you're going to be eating out of the palm of your hand. So he got pissed off and walked off. Not up in my house. No, we don't do that. It made me so angry. You know why it made me so angry? Because when I was growing up, my older brother did that shit to us. That nigger left us on the side of the road. Left us at the side of the road for us to figure out how to get home. And we literally walked home where cars could have easily took any one of us, any one of us out at any second. And to this day, it really, really made me so angry because to think that someone that's that call themselves a sibling could just walk away and not think they had some kind of responsibility to their younger sibling makes me so angry and to, for him to walk out of the vehicle close it and walk off not even help to you know put the seat down help to let his brother out or something like that but he's gonna walk off and then close the door and not up in my house it, it, it pains my heart to know that I'm raising someone just like my goddamn brother. It pains my heart because I despise that man to this day. I despise that man. And even after that, even all of that that he did when we were much younger. Because he was our older brother. And even though we had another older brother that took us under his wings and would do anything for us. He was still younger. And even after that. If not for all that that he did, I still turned around to this day and I helped every single one of them came here. Every single one of them I helped because it got to a point where my mom couldn't do it anymore. She couldn't figure out how to get them here. And I said, okay, I'll take the work on and I'll help you figure out how to get them here. Even though people were accusing me of wanting their information to steal their shit. Oh my gosh, I went through so much to get them here. And only one of the three of them that came here speak to me this day. One of them I took into my own home. And that man cursed the ground that I walked on. In my own home. You know what I mean? And to know that I'm raising some kid just like that hurt the shit out of me. God. Oh. I hate that. What's the matter, Leah? I'm using my Kasori multi cooker again and I'm making uh, chili like chicken. So I have my beans here. No, baby. I have my beans here and I'm gonna put it with pasta. And that little thing over there is not happy. But she wasn't listening. I kept telling her to stop, but she wouldn't listen. So that is what's for dinner. I love this cooker. I find that I use it more often than I do my, um, my, um, mo um, my crock pot. Because I can saute in here. I can brown my meat. And, <clears throat> even though I'm burning the mess out of it. But, I'm going to boil this down so it doesn't really matter if it's burnt. Well, it does matter if it's burnt. But, I'm saying it doesn't matter how crispy it gets. The crispier, the better. Because I like when my chicken has a bite to it. Like a nice crunchy bite to it. And stuff. You can saute it. How you want it. But this is how I like my chicken. Um, with a little color to it. So that's what I'm doing. Right now. I've calmed down. I've spoken to. Um, Jordan is no longer in timeout. Because I did punish him and put him in timeout. He's no longer in timeout. But that really did hurt me really bad because, you know, that's my one job. My one job is to raise them to love each other, you know. If, when, you know, uh, my husband and I are no longer here, they're all they have. They're all they have. It's not like we have big, huge family, you know, and all of that. No, we don't have that. We don't have that and all they have is each other. That's all they have. At the end of the day, when it's all said and done, and when I'm gone, Jason Jordan and Jackson, Destiny and Madison is all they have in this world. No one else. 
no one else. And it hurt me to know that, you know, this is how he's going to be, you know, in the future. When they need him, he's not going to be there. He's just going to be like, I'm, I got me. And that's not how I'm raising them. I want them to always be there for each other. They can have disagreement. They can have argument. But at the end of the day, you're going to come back and you're going to apologize to each other. And you're going to learn how to love each other. I was never taught that. Well, my siblings and I, we were never taught that. So even though I might feel in my heart that I, I want to be around my siblings, they don't feel that way. So. You gotta, let, you gotta let that go. But I'm raising my children differently. To always come together. Anyways. This is gonna be it for today's vlog. I don't have anything else to say. Um, I did get a confirmation to come pick up the gifts. Um, uh, the 18th. They changed it so I have to go pick up the gifts on 18th. Which is two weeks from today. So I'm happy about that because... We just, we can't afford gifts to share for the kids. And it's sad, but it's what, it's reality. It's where we are. And instead of them going without, I'd rather, you know, swallow my pride, humble myself, and accept that it's okay to accept help. Um, it's okay. It's okay. It's not, um, hey, come take care of my kids. No. It's, uh, you're giving the real free gifts. Can I have some for my kids? That's all that is. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.